For the cloak on this miniature, I wanted the colours to follow through similar to colours in other parts of the miniature. So first off, I started off with a couple of coats of Celestial Grey. It's always important to make sure that the original colour has got a good, strong base coat. Next, next, Ulfuran Grey was used. But as you can see in the video, I didn't try and block out areas. I tried to break up some of those larger areas to try and make it look a bit more cloth-like. I also find with painting cloth to try and make it look a little bit better. To try, try and not have solid lines of the paint. So therefore, break it up a little bit and it ends up with a better result that way. Next I used Corax White followed by White Scar and the intent is each time the paint is slightly finer in detail and at the bottom of the cloak in particular you'll notice there's a lot more of the lighter colour. Once the greys and the whites have had time to dry, Lothorn Blue was used only this time it was thinned down quite heavily with water and I then applied two separate coats to give it a very light opaque blue and here you can see I've been using Carabao Crimson mixed in with Lamia Medium and I took a set of stills for you to see how it progressively starts at the bottom and slowly works its way up I don't apply it to the very, very bottom of the cloak because I know that I'm going to have a very dark base and having the lightness of the cloak next to the darkness of the base will help it stand out more. And I, as you can see from these stills, I'm progressively moving further and further up the cloak. And the very last coat was just the Carabao Crimson itself with no Lamia medium applied whatsoever. For the animal pelt, which is on the back of the miniature because the miniature on the whole is so bright I wanted something to really help to turn the miniature back down again so I started off with Avid and Black followed by Corvus Black and lastly I applied Scaven Blight Dinge I didn't want to make it any lighter than that so I didn't add any greys or whites to the area because I really wanted this to help darken the miniature down you'll also notice there's a pattern on the back of the cloak which originally I was planning on painting but I ended up liking the end results as it was so I decided to leave it as it is um, remember to have a look at the finished miniature for the end result in the description if you like the video remember to subscribe click the notification bell and also share the video with your friends